Members of the European Parliament will from now on have to declare financial and other interests after the Assembly voted unanimously in favour of a so-called code of conduct. The motion was introduced after an earlier scandal and many feel it's long overdue. It'll be more effective if we oblige members to declare their activities, their interests, to declare when they have a relationship with lobby groups, to not accept any kind of contribution for their work, that there's a set of sanctions to ensure they don't do that. Lack of transparency in our behaviour is a problem of conscience and there is no law that can stop it if there isn't this high sense of duty. While the parliament appears determined to clamp down on any conflict of interest, some campaigners think more could be done. At the moment the code of conduct doesn't include a cooling off period for members of the European Parliament. That means once they leave uh, office they basically can move into you know, lobbying jobs that create a conflict of interest for them. Uh, furthermore, we, we are a bit concerned about the fact that um, there aren't you know, as strong sanctions as we would have liked to see and um, that second jobs are still possible for members of the European Parliament. The drive for regulation of MEPs' external activities gathered momentum after a lobbying scandal involving several members erupted earlier this year. Two of them resigned over the affair. The Parliament is carrying out its own investigation. Our correspondent says Parliament's overwhelming backing for this code of conduct was given even before the detailed content was known. It's difficult to imagine an MEP who earns more than €6,000 a month, plus another 4000 for other daily allowances and monthly expenses, being able to defend the necessity of extra earnings and gifts, particularly in this time of economic crisis.